well a very good morning students everyone i hope all of you guys are doing well today we'll be looking at the same chapter and uh, the topic is also going to be the same that is parallel and uh, perpendicular lines and how to find the equation for them and how to figure out the m that is called the slope for them for two lines that will be given to us so we'll start by doing question number 14 first part and then we'll do some questions so that it's a help for you guys in the uh, homework for today and then I hope you'll be able to understand the homework as well as we can continue doing this okay so if I'm doing a question I would request all the students to just hold your pen and pencil with you pen or pencil and then you can keep a copy in front of you and then please keep doing the questions that I am doing with you right now pause the video don't watch the video in one go that's not gonna help you at all okay so if you guys want to help yourself the only thing that you can do is pause the video for some time do the questions that I have done and understand the question then you'll be able to do all the questions in the exercise that is for homework today okay so we'll start our video for today question number 14 first part says the line 4x minus 3y plus 12 equals to 0 meets x-axis so I have drawn a line that is this one and it meets meets x-axis at point a so if it's meeting x-axis at point a the coordinates for this is going to be x comma 0 isn't it the coordinates are going to be x comma 0 so this is point a now write down the coordinates of a so I have to figure out the coordinates of a so what I'm going to do I have the value of y what is the value of y 0 I have to find x so I'm going to put the value of y in this so 4x minus 3 into 0 plus 12 मैं क्या बताना चाह रहा हूं आप लोगों को मैं ये बोल रहा हूं जब y 0 है तो x कितना होगा हम ये फिगर आउट करें तो y मैंने 0 रख दिया तो 4x equals to minus 12 x is equals to minus 3 आप 4 को उधर ले जाओगे डिवाइड करोगे सो यू विल गेट x equals to minus 3 सो व्हाट आर द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ a कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ a a is minus 3 comma 0 दैट इज गोइंग टू कम ऑन दैट साइड ओके Let's do the second part. This was the first part for us. Let's understand and do the second part. Determine the equation of a line passing through A perpendicular to this line. So there's another line that is passing by. I'll draw it by a different pen. So this line, this line, okay. So I need to find the equation of this line. I don't know the equation of this line, but I know the angle between them is 90 degree. Okay. But it's also, I also know the angle between them is 90 degree. I also know one more good thing that this, uh, you know, it's passing through the same point. It's passing through the same point that is A. And the point is 3 comma 0. I have to find the equation of this line. So let's start doing the questions that uh, is that we are supposed to do. And then first I'm going to find M. So let's see what is M for this equation. We'll find out M for this line. Okay. Slope of this line. So the slope of this line is going to be something like this. I'm looking over here and uh, 4x plus 12 equals to 3y and 3 goes on that side. So 4x upon 3 plus 12 upon 3 equals to y. So 4 upon 3 is m. 4 upon 3 is m. So I know what is m1 but both the lines are perpendicular i know m1 so i'll use this formula m1 into m2 equals to minus 1 so m1 is 4 over 3 into m2 is going to be minus 1 so m2 is going to be minus 3 over 4 so this is going to be the slope for the other line okay now let's see the formula for finding the equation of any line the formula is y minus y1 m into x minus x1 this is the formula for finding the equation of a line so what's gonna happen over here is I'm gonna put the values okay and the points I know what are the points x is minus 3 x1 is minus 3 and y1 is 0 so y1 is 0 this and m m I already have minus 3 over 4 and then x minus x1 is minus 3 which is going to become plus 3 over here so this is going to go on that side 4y equals to minus 3x minus 9 so the equation that I'll have is I'll shift 3x plus 4y 
plus 9 equals 0. This is the equation of the line that I have to find. So what I did in this question, let, let me wrap this up for you. I found out m of this line that has been given to me. And whatever its m was, I found out its m. I got m. Now I got m. So 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 I got m. क्यों यला फॉर्मूला क्यों लगाया क्योंकि मेरे पास m था ऑलरेडी तो मैंने m की वैल्यू पुट करी x1 और y1 मुझे मेरे पास है माइनस थ्री कम हुआ है आप तो मैंने वैल्यू पुट करके मुझे इक्वेशन निकल गई एंड दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड इक्वेशन दैट आई हैव टू फाइंड ओके लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 गोस समथिंग लाइक दिस क्वेश्चन सेस द इक्वेशन ऑफ अ लाइन इज 3x 4y 8 0 फाइंड द स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन I have to find the slope of the line. So the equation that is given to me is 3x plus 4y plus 8 equals to 0. So I have to find m. m is slope. You know how to find slope. You shift uh, 4y alone or y on this side. Minus 3x minus 8 and y is equals to minus 3 upon 4. Isn't it? So 4 goes and divides by both the things that are on the other side. So for me m is m1 you can say or m2 whatever you can say m is minus 3 over 4 isn't it so the slope is minus 3 over 4 so the first part has been done very easily let's go to the second part second part says the equation of line i have to find i have to find the equation of a line perpendicular to the given line that should be perpendicular to this okay so i can just help you guys by making a figure so this is the graph and I have a line. I'm just drawing it like that. Uh, so 3x plus 4y plus 8 equals to 0. This line is 3x plus 4y. I have to find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to this. Okay. So it's my pen. Okay. So I have to find a line that is perpendicular making 90 degree. I have to find the equation of this line the red one Okay, I have to find the equation of the red line find the equation of the line perpendicular to the given line and passing through the point Passing through the point of intersection of iska iska So Ab hota kya hai yaha pe Yaha pe do line hai I'll draw with the help of a black pen Ek line hai Okay. Uh, okay. So, two lines. One line is this. One line is this. Okay. These two black line are coming. And this black line, if you are seeing, what is one line? Kya hai? X minus. And the other one is 3x plus y minus 10 equals to 0. Okay. But I have to find the equation of the red line. So I'll figure out what is this point. How to figure out this point? These two black lines are intersecting each other. So I'm gonna take the help of both the equation and find the intersection point. How? So I'll say x minus y equals to minus 2 and the second one is 3x plus y equals to 10. Now if I multiply the first equation by I don't have to multiply the first equation by anything because this can be cancelled out if I am adding so it's going to be 8 and then x is going to be 2 if x is 2 then y is going to be what let's find out y so x ko 2 rakhto yaha pe 2 minus y equals to minus 2 and this also goes on that side this is going to be minus 4 y is equals to 4 so what is this point of intersection jaha pe dono line uh, mil rahi hai to hai 2 comma 4 Okay, so the red wali line bhi hai, wo kaha se pass ho rhi hai? 2 comma 4 se. Okay, let's find the slope for this red wali line. Kyunki, jo slope iska hoga, uska inverse slope iska hoga. So iska slope kitna tha aapka? m1 into m2 equals to minus 1 hota hai. So let's figure out what is m1. m1 kitna tha aapka? Minus 3 upon 4. Into m2. Minus and minus will get cancelled. So aapke pass m2 kitna aega? 4 over 3 okay aapke paas iski slope kitna aega 4 over 3 now you know the equation how to make a equation y minus y1 equals to m 
x minus x1 and the line red line is passing through this point and the point is 2 comma 4 so this is x1 this is y1 so y minus 4 equals to 4 over 3 or x minus 2 so 3 will go on that side so it's going to be 3y minus 12 equals to 4x minus 8 so the equation can be 4x minus 3y minus 8 plus 12 so 4x minus 3y and if I solve this I'll get uh, 4 so plus 4 equals to 0 so this is the equation that I have to find for question number 18 okay you guys can go ahead and look at this question again I'll just keep the paper like that and you guys can just see the question how it is done okay class let's have a look in question number 23 now enough I guess you have enough looked in question number 18 now we'll be looking at question number 23 so we'll read the question together the question goes something like this find the equation of the line through the point minus 1 comma 3 okay and parallel to the line joining the points 0 comma minus 2 and 4 comma 5 so if I have to make a picture or a diagram of this, I'll make it like this. So I have to find the equation of a line that is passing by this minus 1 comma 3. Okay, a line is minus 1 comma 3. Se hoke ja rahi hai. This is minus 1 comma 3. Okay, and then I have to and and this, this line is also parallel to the other line, which is 0 comma minus 2. Maybe 0 comma minus 2 is over here and the other point is 4 comma 5 this is 4 comma 5 a b and they both are parallel to each other these two lines are parallel to each other so what i'm going to do first is i have two points of this and i'm going to find the slope of this line so how to find find slope of any line y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 so m is equals to what is y2 5 minus minus 2 upon x2 that is going to be 4 minus 0 so my answer is going to be m equals to 7 upon 4 this is my slope for this line or i can say m1 or i can say this is m2 this is ye m, uh, l1 hai ye l2 hai to ye m2 hua theek hai ab agar iska स्लोप m2 है तो इसका भी स्लोप कितना होगा m1 का भी स्लोप कितना होगा 7 upon 4 क्यों होगा 7 upon 4 because both of them are parallel lines और जब parallel होते तो m1 equals to m2 होता ही होता है ठीक है अब मेरे पास m मिल गया now what I can do is I can directly use the formula which formula we can use you all know the formula and the formula goes something like this y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1 why I am using this formula because I have a point this minus 1 comma 3 and minus 1 is x1 and 3 is y1 and I also have m 7 upon 4 so I am going to put the values over here so y minus 3 equals to 7 upon 4 x minus that is going to become plus 1 so 4 goes on that side so it becomes 4y plus uh, sorry minus 12 equals to 7x plus 7 now if I shift everything on one side so 7x minus 4y plus 7 and plus 12 and nothing is left on this side so 0 is equals to 7x minus 4y and if I solve this out what is the number I am going to get I am going to get 19 so what is the required equation that I have to find the equation of this line is going to be 7x minus 4y plus 19 so that's how you solve the questions that have been given to you and I hope I did give you guys a help a little bit uh, in solving some questions from the exercise. Hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching this video. Take care of yourself.